The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra has been making waves ever since its official launch at the Galaxy Unpacked event in San Jose, California. While the entire S25 lineup, including the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra, boasts impressive features, there's one aspect that left fans a little disappointed. At the event, Samsung revealed that all models, regardless of storage configuration, come with 12GB of RAM. This announcement was unexpected, especially for those who had hoped to see a premium 16GB RAM option at the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the flagship model. However, as it turns out, Samsung is offering a version of the S25 Ultra with 16GB of RAM, but it's only available in a select few countries. Let's break it down. The Galaxy S25 Ultra with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of storage is available exclusively in China, South Korea, and Taiwan. This makes it a very limited offering, leaving fans in other regions wondering why Samsung restricted this high-end variant to just these markets. Here's how it works. In China and Taiwan, if you're planning to buy the 1TB storage variant of the S25 Ultra, you will even get the 12GB RAM option. Instead, the 16GB RAM plus 1TB configuration is the only choice available in those markets. On the other hand, in South Korea, Samsung provides the 16GB RAM plus 1TB storage option alongside the globally available configurations, which include 12GB RAM plus 256GB storage, 12GB RAM plus 512GB storage, 12GB RAM plus 1TB storage. When it comes to pricing, the 16GB RAM plus 1TB storage variant carries a significant premium. In China, it's priced at CNY 13,699, which roughly converts to $1,880. In South Korea, it comes in at currently 2,249,500 or about $1,720. And in Taiwan, it's priced at NT dollar 56,900, approximately $1,830. These prices reflect the high in nature of this variant aimed at those who demand top-tier specs. For everyone else around the world, Samsung has already revealed the pricing, pre-order benefits, and availability of the Galaxy S25 series. Unfortunately, no other countries will be getting the 16GB RAM option. If you're in markets like the US, Europe, or India, you'll have to settle for the 12GB RAM configurations, no matter which storage variant you choose. Now, this raises an important question. Could Samsung introduce the 16GB RAM plus 1TB model to more markets in the future? while they're incapable of handling anything you throw at them. In conclusion, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the 16 gigabytes of RAM is a regional gem, available only in China, South Korea, and Taiwan. Unless you live in one of these countries or are willing to import the device, you're out of luck. But for most users, the 12 gigabytes RAM variants should still deliver an exceptional flagship experience. What do you think of Samsung's decision to limit the 16 gigabytes RAM variant to just three countries? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest tech news.